guys, Angela here. I'm going to be making a DIY baby prop bed with these pallets that I have for my last project. I made a DIY vanity um, also, so I'll leave a link somewhere around the cor top corners of this video. And I'm going to go ahead and do the legs first. I'm going to cut 17 inch for the back of the legs and 12 and a half inches for the front. So I'm going to go ahead and get those cut. Okay, so I cut the two pieces. These ones are the 17 inch legs and then the 12 and a half inch legs. So I'm gonna set those aside and go ahead and cut 15 inches across for the bed and I'm gonna cut five pieces of pallets 15 inches. So I have a miter saw here just so I can do straight lines and then I'll go ahead and cut those and then move on from there. Okay guys, so I cut the pieces that are going to be pretty much the bed part. I cut five of these to be about 15 inches across. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue each end of these pieces together and get those connected that way first. So I'm starting with two pieces since I don't have clamps. I'm using these cement pieces and I'm just holding them together for about 30 minutes and I'll do that to each side and pretty much connect them with some wood glue. These ones are going to go on the side of the bed. And you can make this a little bit bigger or smaller. I just wasn't too sure on what size to do, so I'm making one that would probably fit like a one year old, maybe as well. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> maybe that thing might be a little bit too big. But yeah, I'm going to do that. Do Next thing I want to do. I'm going to sand all these pieces down because I'm going to go ahead and stain them as well and do that first and then I'm going to go ahead and sand or stain them. Also, since so I've only glued these down, I might get some extra pieces I have and just screw them or nail them down the side here just so it can have more stability besides having the glue. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Also, so that's the bottom. So, so far, that's how it looks. Kind of liking it. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. Side 
pieces, let those dry for a little bit, and then work on the rest. Okay, those bottom pieces are about exactly 15 inches. So 15 inches across, and I'm gonna literally place them right there for stability, just cause this is for a baby, and I do not want them to fall <laughs> through my bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those screwed on, and we'll move on from there. Okay, so the, I got those okay, guys, parts so stained. The next thing I'm going to do is put those pieces, like I said, and drill them pallets. down just so it can be sturdy. Um, and this is on the bottom the of the main the part of the bed. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do that. pieces sturdy up so now this is the top and it's definitely pretty sturdy now and yeah go ahead and do the rest of the stuff
Okay, I got these 15 inch pieces sawed out and next thing I'm gonna do is of course sand and stain these next and then I should have all the pieces sanded and stained and ready to be put together. Okay guys, so the next step I'm doing is the 15 inch pieces that I did for the last stain, I am pretty much drilling those onto the first part of the legs, which are the 17 inch ones. So I'm gonna get those drilled down. Do that real quick. Okay, so I set this up to see how it would look like. Of course, this is going to be raised. I'm trying to determine, like, how high I should do this. I think that should be good. Yeah. Okay. Set this baby up. Okay, so I nailed this part to that. I kind of messed up right there, but I'll fix it afterwards. Um, and now I'm going to nail this top part. And that should be about it. Okay. Hey. 